All right, run it. What is going on everyone on YouTube? I'm back with another video. Today's video is gonna be on the topic of what to wear instead of cargo pants. Lately, I feel like cargo pants have had everyone in the chokehold, including myself. And I feel like it's a new year, it's still kind of early. I'm trying to switch it up a little bit. So hopefully you guys can find something in today's video that you guys might like and might be willing to go ahead and try out. That being said, I don't wanna waste too much of your time. Smash that like button for me. Let's get started with the first pair of pants. The first pair of pants that we gotta talk about is the Skate Fit Denim. When it comes to the Skate Fit Denim, this is perfect for anybody that's into the more baggy, loose fit vibe. When it comes to the Skate Fit Denim, there's a few different brands that actually sell these. Some of my favorites are gonna be Levi's and Urban Outfitters. And of course, I will be leaving the rest link down below. When it comes to the Skate Fit Denim, it does feature a more draped over the sneaker approach, such as a cargo pant would. The thing that I love the most is that it doesn't come with those extra pockets like a pair of cargos and they come in some crazy washes. And with the B-roll here, I do want to show you guys some of the different options to choose from. You guys do have some heavily distressed denim or you guys just have some simple clean washes. When it comes to these denim, don't get discouraged from the name. Urban Outfitters is a great option to choose from. I feel like they do offer a variety of different things as well as distressing colors and pretty much they're always affordable. It was going so. And with the denim that you guys do see here, these are mostly from Urban Outfitters. And I can honestly say that the quality is top tier. Feels like a pair of Levi's if I would have to say. Next up on the list is gonna be track pants. When it comes to track pants, I feel like this is a good way to be fresh and comfortable at the same time. And when it comes to track pants, there's certain details I look for, such as zippers towards the ankles, as well as the pocket for a more secure approach, as well as, of course, a great colorway. It won't be a great pair of track pants without a good colorway. So when it comes to track pants, that's just my preferences. Everybody else is different, of course. But when it comes to track pants, you have a variety of different places to choose from, such as Supreme, Nike, as well as Abercrombie & Fitch. And with the brands that you see here are actually the brands that we just named. When it comes to these track pants, definitely be on the lookout on some of the aftermarkets. That's the best place to find some of the more unique colorways, as well as just the unique designs. Next up on the list is gonna be one of my favorites and that's gonna be Chino Pants. When it comes to Chino Pants, I feel like this right here is the most versatile pair of pants on this list. I love the fact that they do come in a variety of different fits. So if you guys into the loose, you guys like the skinny fit, or if you guys like the slim fit. When it comes to Chino Pants, a lot of people do consider these to be just dress up pants. But if I'm being real with you, it all depends on the type of fit that you go for. My personal preference is gonna be a straight fit and that's gonna be the one that you actually see in the B-roll here. When it comes to the chino pants here, I feel like it's just a blank canvas that you can pretty much dress up however you want. It just depends on how you're feeling that day. And when it comes to chino pants, I love the fact that it's sold all over the place. So you guys can see here, there's a ton of different places to choose from. My personal favorite is gonna be Vans. That's the one that you guys see in the B-roll here. When it comes to Vans chino pants, I do feel like they take the best approach on a streetwear look. My personal favorite ways to wear them is gonna be with maybe like a graphic tee, some kind of layering piece like a jacket or a flannel. And of course, it gotta be with some kind of chucks or maybe even a pair of Jordan ones of your preference. And with that being said, chino pants is definitely a great versatile option for you guys to choose from. Next on the list is gonna be something I've really been trying to get into and that's gonna be the relaxed sweatpants. When it comes to relaxed sweatpants, just as the track pants, these are a great way to be stylish and comfortable at the same time. I love the fact that you really don't gotta to spend too much money to get that look down. When it comes to relaxed sweatpants, I feel like this is a good option, at least for me. I'm not really the type of person to throw on a crazy fit all the time. Sometimes you wanna throw on a chill outfit and keep it pushing. And when it comes to relaxed sweatpants, I feel like you have the best of both worlds. So you can still be stylish, but you don't really gotta do too much when it comes to these sweats. There's a lot of different brands out there that you guys already know that sell some great options, such as Fair God, Abercrombie & Fitch, H&M. And my personal favorite is gonna be Nike. And that's gonna be some of the brands that you actually see in the B-roll here. For the most part, it's gonna be because I own a lot more Nike sneakers and I'm kind of against mixed matching brands, but that's just my opinion. But when it comes to these sweats here that I'm actually holding in my hand, this is my favorite pair. I actually thrifted this pair for like $6 or so. And these pair of pants right here are amazing. Love the fact that it does feature this washed out black look. They do have a small Nike swoosh towards the shin area. Love the fact that I'm actually able to adjust the opening of the ankle of the pant. So with that zipper right there, it's crucial. As you already know, some sneakers require Require a more oversized and draped over the sneaker look and some sneakers do require that taper look it just depends on the shoe so for me I feel like this is the best option and this is definitely my go-to at the moment 
And the last spot in today's video comes from the same brand, but it's a tie between two different pants. So it's gonna be the Dickies Double Knee in this gray colorway, as well as the Dickies A74 in this black one. When it comes to Dickies A74, this is gonna be for the people that actually like slimmer pants. So if you guys like pants that's not too baggy and it just fits to your body, looks good with slimmer sneakers such as Jordan 1s, Blazers, and Chuck Taylors, these are the Dickies for you. These are a really great option, not my cup of tea. I feel like when it comes to these pants right here, even just having a B-roll for you guys, it look kind of strange compared to all the other pants that I actually had on in today's video. Come see these pants right here. These are both great options. My personal favorite would have to be the Dickies Double Knee just because of the fit. I feel like it just fits a little bit more loose and wider. So this right here is a lot better to go ahead and rock with chunkier sneakers. And when it comes to Dickies Double Knee, this is a great option for somebody that likes a more relaxed fit. When it comes to these pants right here, very inexpensive. I was able to pick these up from Target and I picked these up for just like $20 to $25. They had a variety of different colorways from gray, green khaki as well as black i just felt like gray was a little bit different from everything you see and hence the name double knee it does feature a very thick canvas material towards the knee area but once you break them in it doesn't really feel too stiff and uncomfortable that being said i hope you guys did enjoy today's video didn't want to stretch this video and make this 15 20 minutes i wanted to give you guys five pants that's very effective that being said make sure to smash that like button for me hit that subscribe button we are on the road to 3k and i'm gonna catch you on the next one peace